Guys, can you do me like one huge solid favor? Just one. This is all I'm gonna ask for this week. <laughs> Uh, my girl Stacy is part of the Twitch On series that is beginning on Thursday this week. So that's March 8th of 2018. For those of you that are watching this way off in the future, we are time traveling! So I'm going to ask you guys pretty, pretty please if you could subscribe to her channel. I have linked it somewhere here, probably in the description. But seriously, if you can just go and give her a follow, maybe give her a sub and help us out because I love Stacy. She's awesome. She's super positive and she 100% deserves to win this competition. So let's go help her out. Seriously. Come on. Let's go. Before the video starts, pause it. Go help Stacy. Did you help? Go help. Did you, did you do it? Did you do it? Please, please, please. I'm not starting this video until you go do it. Come on, please for me. Well, really for Stacy, but if you wanted to do it for me, that'd be cool too. Please. She's awesome. You're gonna love her. Go hang out. Go on. But we're gonna hang out Thursday. This Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. East. We're gonna start in my chat about a half an hour early and then we're gonna go raid hers. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Because that's what's, that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Stream on. So yeah, let's do this. Come on. Go follow her right now. Down below. All right. Now you can watch the video. Every good job starts with a crowbar. Oh, wait, are you, sorry, okay, okay. This will be my first time actually using it as a crowbar. So what are you doing with it? Uh, I'm gonna rip this trim that was shoved in this gap right here out so that we can hopefully reveal a beautiful pocket door that's in fully functional working condition. And in some universe, all of that is true. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one, sorry. And we're live streaming it! Yay! First aid kit is not on standby. It's actually in the RV. No, that's reassuring. <laughs> I'm actually not sure where any of the first aid kit stuff is. Who, who seals off? This is like the board you would use to... It's like a transition yeah, between a tile and carpet. Right. And they used it to stuff inside of a pocket door, which I, I just want to see my pocket door. This is me telling you about my camera. And, uh, Steve is now demolishing my house. I didn't expect that to break. That's probably a good thing that it did. No? Not really, because now it's harder to get the other piece out. Oh. Um, oops. <laughs> Tell me more. There's chunks flying. Well, that may work. You haven't scared the cat yet, which really amazes me. So, what's the next step? What I need is like an... L-shaped pry bar. But you know, not like, your your crowbar? It's too wide. That's too big? Because I need something that's like narrow enough to get in there. Mm -hmm. um, alternatively, I could try the other angle. What, from the top? Yeah. And work your way down? Let's see if we have any better luck doing that. Okay. It is raining 18th century on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you need a light? Where'd you put your light? Did you put your light away? Chunk of plaster. Anything right. else? I think there's a nail here I want to pull. Yes, there is. It's really a... Okay, so can we try and pull that door out? Will yeah, we should be able to pull the left side. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> as Dusting as off as the 18th, as 18th, century. No 18th century. As soon as I'm no longer in 18th century. You need a light, 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 light. Holy Toledo. Look at that. Is it stuck? I see, oh my goodness, it goes way up there. <gasps> Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, I'm excited for this to work. Okay, um, what's it stuck on? I don't know. Is it this, this thing right, I don't it's know. It's like the mechanism here. at the top is not. Here, here, here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this door. And you can see the floor from the other side. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, unless their goal was to just seal this up because it doesn't work. Well, that's too bad. I want it to work. It doesn't work. Let's just seal it up. There's like a metal linkage up there. Would you like to go look? That looks good. 
I mean, as far as like being mechanically there, it's still oiled. Wow, it's huge. Like, do you need to like release a lever or something? I don't know. I mean, it definitely looks like it's got some sort of. Oh my god, I can't wait to see. Oh, I'm so excited. The the hardware on this looks so beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Fixing, fixing, not removing, fixing. Wow. I think I pulled it further than you're supposed to. Yeah, you definitely did, but oh my goodness. It's been in there forever. So we gotta clean it up a little bit. Yeah, we definitely have to clean it up. Um, that I want to do with a wet cloth instead of a dry one, just so that whatever's on it, it doesn't, doesn't scratch blow, it. Yeah. Well, that it doesn't blow around. Weasel. You're weaseling it. Well, now I can get to the handle. Is the handle? Anyway, this one. Not a good noise. <laughs> Yeah, so I think the upper part just needs to be heavily lubricated because there's not much on them right now. This is really nice though. I'm really excited. Don't breathe this, whatever this is. All right, so I'm gonna sand this down and try and get all of the varnish off of my metal and then sand it back up. It is a beautiful brass color. Do you see that color? Mm -hmm. Look at it! Yeah, once you take the, the, I don't know what grit this is. You said 400? This is 320. Okay, so okay. this is the base. When, you, when you're when you working with metal as far as like a, a pre, quote unquote precious metal like this is, you want to start with 320 to, to really bring down your edges, and then you work your way back up to about 600. And then you start polishing it with like an actual polishing grit, like Rose Rouge, or um, I can't remember the black one, but there's a black one that you do in between that and the Rose Rouge. Um, <laughs> But we don't have any of that, so I'm going to use sandpaper and bring it all the way up to like, I think I have like 4,000 and 6,000 now that I think about it. I think the pink one is 6,000. It's in here somewhere. But it's literally a cloth paper. See? Let's feel it. Feel it. See? It feels like paper, right? It doesn't even like feel nice, like sandpaper. No, yeah. it's, this is sandpaper. And it's just a it's nice... It's like the consistency cloth. of a dryer sheet. Yeah, 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 very similar. But they come in different colors. Ta-da. Ooh, and look, see? It says right here. So I have 400 is the green paper or slash chartreuse, 600 is gray, 1200 is teal blue, 4000 is pink, 6000 is minty green, and 8000 is this pale pale yellow. So I have grits all the way up to 8000. It will leave a high polish, almost like I rose rouge it. It'll look beautiful. I'm so excited. It's going to be great. <laughs> but the, yeah, this color the extent of my sanding has always been like, you know, 100 or... <laughs> If you're doing finishing on your polyurethane, a 220. <laughs> Not 8,000. <laughs> I can't say I've ever used. I told you, I have fancy sandpaper. There's Spike. Bye, Spike. He's hiding under the table now. Why? It's like Jet didn't even go near him. No, I think he's potentially afraid of what you're doing. Are you kidding? Yeah, that or he was afraid Jet was going to attack him. I don't know. I don't know. So look at the color. It's already coming up and it looks beautiful. I'm so excited. I would imagine we can probably keep those pools even if we like redo the I don't want to redo the, the lock mechanism. I'm really excited that this is all one solid piece. And like I love the, the detail work that's in here. Like when we were looking at buying this place, that was what made me really excited was was this lock. I was like, it's so old! And it's still like all beautiful too. I mean, if we really wanted to, we might be able to take it out because it's only a couple of screws. That's what I was thinking. Is I could. Do you want to do out. it now and just look and see how it works? And, I can, yeah. And what kind of shape it's in? Because even if it, even if this comes out, these well, could this stay. Well, this comes out too. What, what, what would probably be a good idea now that I know what color it's going to come out? If we can pull this off, um, and then I can really sand it down. I've got a Dremel that I can and not screw up the door. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. You got a screwdriver handy? No. What's wrong with the dog? He's just being a moron. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Will you be a good boy? And he's like, no, nope, pay attention to me now, Mom. What's I'm that? done. I don't want to do anything now. I'm done. All right, I'll get the screwdriver. All right. The only places you see those are on those round locks that you I put. figure out how to put the damn thing back together. I took a picture. Did you want the picture? <laughs> Uh, 
watch a bumbling idiot break a lock while trying to demonstrate how it works. <laughs> there goes the spring. <laughs> the, the spring's actually down here, and that piece still works. Um, this was just the, the two slider plates that throw the deadbolt. So you can kind of really see cool. the action of how they go against each other. So. Thanks heavens for pictures. He's not kidding. That's why I wanted to take a picture. Live stream is over. There's Danny. All right, I wanted to show you guys this cool hardware. Did we show them any of this? I don't remember if you filmed this. I think you filmed some of it. I might have. But this is what has come out of the doors. They are, where is it? It's on the other side. Uh, Corbin. They're Corbin plates before Corbin, what's it called? Russwin. Russwin. <laughs> um, turned into a conglomerate. Um, but this was on this door, which are double, double doors. They're a little hollow, which is really cool. They're both like that, right? Ta-da, you can see through my door. Anyway, so... Here's the lock plate. These were on that door because they actually cut the lock out. And then that went to this mechanism. And this is the mechanism that came out of it. Oh my goodness, that's amazing! This is the piece that goes on the, the opposite one. side, which is right here. But that, see this one's all still connected, so I can like pick it up and show you the detail that's in here. This is what I saw from the outside of the door. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I love it. So then, ta-da! These are on the opposite side where there isn't a lock plate. Um, which is why they left the lock in, but all of the castings are very, I don't think they're castings, they're actually like press, press plated. See the screws are still in them because we're trying to keep all the pieces together. But you can see that it was actually put through a, a hydraulic press to make this shape and all of the little shapes. But you see all of the detail? Ta-da! Look at how beautiful that is, right? But you can't see on the front because there's all this garbage in there. So my job is to take all of that garbage out. Ooh, we got a new follow! Welcome, JC Gamer. <laughs> I love my system. It's actually put together really nicely. It works good mm -hmm. when we don't have Wi-Fi. So our next step is to build a Cat6 cable long enough to get down here. Well, one of my goals here. was to get Cat6 from the upstairs to behind the television so that we could actually hardwire the TV, the amp, and the uh, Blu-ray player. True. This is our living room. We finally set up our living room. There's Spike in his chair. Hi, Spike. Hi. So our living room is all set up. That's pledge. Don't freak out. <laughs> this is our dining room, which is currently a mess because it's full of hardware and other things. There's the microphone we use for the live stream. There's all our hardware. There's the machine we use for the live stream with the webcam we used. That window goes into the backyard. This is the shelf that we did the other day that was in the last video. There's Dan. Where's Jet? He's around he somewhere. Room. He's not in the living room now. I think he went upstairs. Knowing him, he's probably ready for bed. Yeah, probably. So, there we go. Alright, so you can basically see how the lever goes into a vertical position, and then as you shut it, it tips down. Oh! That's really interesting. So it creates like this weird scissor action. Yeah! That's not a rail. No, there, is, there are no rails. Yeah. And it does, it just needs to be lubricated in like... Six different ways. Right. That was really neat though. That's such an old school way to do that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I shine a light right in your face. <laughs> So ready to finish those. Um, we are actually about to go to Lowe's mm -hmm. and the post office and Goodwill and what was the other one? I don't remember. PetSmart! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We're gonna actually get something to help Danny out. Um, she has an issue with not using the litter box with only certain types of things in the litter box and we believe that um, we need to get a stool softener for the cat. Um, I have some super cool stickers in my hands. I'm going to put them on the cars. We're going to do that today, too, maybe, if uh, I can get the cars cleaned up enough because they're dirty. I also have picked up paint chips, so I've been looking at paint for the walls. I think I selected two for this room, I think. Ta-da! What does that say? Gray screen and evening escape. That seems really uh, appropriate. But this is a slight blue, even though you don't really see it. But when you put it up against the red, you can really see the blue come out. But it's not obnoxious, and it's really subtle, and it's going to look really good. So if they have a sample of it ready to go, I'm going to grab that. But it does. It has a lot of blue in it. Hi, Jet. Hi, bud. <laughs> Jet's going to come with us, too. It's going to be fun. And then this, I'm going to put on this pop-out here. 
just in this right here. So that'll be neat. Right, Steve? Yep. I'm gonna paint the pipes over here too. Um, these are gonna get painted the same color. So they'll actually look like gray pipes, which will be cool. This, I don't think I'm gonna paint this. I'm gonna just fall out, Mom. Watch me. Are you excited? We're gonna go for a ride. Huh? You excited? Yep. I'm excited. New smells. New neighborhood. Things to smell. No, you're not climbing out. But I want to. But I want to. You're so little, bud. You're so little. I was no. waiting for him to see his reflection in the mirror and think it was another dog. <laughs> Where's your dad go? Where is he, bud? Where's your dad? Where is he? Where's your dad? <gasps> is he coming back? Is that him? <gasps> Stay. Is he very excited? Oh, yes. I opened both windows for him in the back. <laughs> so I'm sure he'll be happy. Won't you, bud? Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, okay. You're going with your dad. Go that way. Go on. He wrapped himself up already. So how did you already get thing? Oh! <laughs> Thank you for saving him. Come on, bud. He's so excited. He's like a little kid in a candy store. No, Jet, you're not going to pee on anything. I want to pee on all the things. All the things. I want to say hi to all the animals and pee on all the things. And ooh, he smells like cats. So we ended up picking up Science Diet, which I've never given to an animal before, but the ingredients list looked okay, and it says that it's hairball control, which is the stuff we're looking for, believe it or not. It's kind of like a laxative, and that's kind of what the cat needs, as far as I'm, I'm to understand. You were the one that talked to the vet. Oh, so. we, we went through like a probably 30-part question and answer session about, have you done this, and done this, and done this. <laughs> Did we do everything? Yeah, most of the stuff we've tried. Oh, that's good. So. Okay. She was like, have you changed the litter? And I'm like, let me tell you about that. Because the one time that I tried a new litter, yeah. they stopped pooping in the box altogether. Uh, yeah. So. so anyway, we're we're going to try and get Danny some help. Because the, the one I found on the floor this morning was awful. <laughs> and then she poop, she makes the biggest poops. This is a, a vlog about poop. <laughs> ah! So um, now that that's done, we've gone, we've done two of our four errands today. We did Peco, and we did Goodwill. Goodwill. So we dropped off some stuff that was in the house, and the girls got rid of some of their children's books, which was great. And now we're going to the post office to put our taxes in the mail, um, so we can get a sick refund. And then we have to go to Lowe's and run around Lowe's and maybe buy paint and stuff. I don't know. So excited. Hang on, bud. Your dad's going to get some insulation. We are going to use that insulation to... What are we doing? We're making soundproof panels for the office. Oh, goodness. Is that heavy? Okay. That's just big. Big and awkward. Big. So this was the stuff that was as close as we can get to being recommended, but the sound absorbent is the important part. Right? We'll see how well it does. I think it'll do great. I'm excited. That one right there. Whee! That's gonna go over our dining room table. And that price tag is terrible. But we have a 10% coupon. So that's awesome. I think it's that one. There's no bottom. <laughs> 